breaking news, Nigerians. This one, Shoko. Hmm. Bayasa, Bayasa government reacts to invention of warehouse. He can't they tell, can they tell in citizen say, say, no one should consume looted palliatives. So. He said, you see those food one that they carry, those palliatives one that don't carry, one that don't carry commort. They are all expired items. If you eat them, you go die. It's poisoned. I not call this stand. Is it the same palliatives they intend to give us? They are saying that it's poisoned food. Or maybe they are just telling them to return it the way they collected it. It's not the way out. You understand? The way they would have supposed to. You understand? Because they invade. These people they invaded the warehouse. They can't collect the palliatives. Who you want to blame? You want... You go blame them, you go, you go still blame them small. You know, so then they talk, say, hunger, they make people, they do anyhow. Hunger, it's not good. You understand? So, this government have to do something you know, about this issue on ground. Because a time will come, even all these politicians, they go, they stop them from, for road. They, they remove their shoes from their, from their legs. You go reach that level. Nigerians are not smiling. The hardship is too much. They just have to understand. Okay? They just have to understand. These people now when go carry this uh, uh, expired uh, food, according to the Bayasa government, they said it's expired palliatives. And I don't even know why they should say it's expired uh, palliatives. You cannot, you cannot give people what is poisoned, poisoned food. If you say those foods are expired, so that means you want to distribute poison food to your people. And how many days now? You see, we continue to use our hand to create problems for ourselves. Nigerians are not smiling. The country is really very bad. Anyway, guys, make we hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. No one should consume looted palliatives. They are expired food items. Bayasa government reacts to invention of warehouse. Sahara reporters gathered that people were angered due to the hardship in the country occasioned by the removal of, fuels, uh, of subsidy on premium motor spirits, otherwise known as petrol. The Bayasa state government has disclosed that the palliatives scattered away by a resident in Yenegua, the state capital who invaded warehouse, are unfit for human consumption. Sahara reporters had reported how some residents broke into a warehouse where palliatives were kept by the Bayasa state government in Yenegua on Sunday. The warehouse is located along Isaac Boro Expressway in the state capital. Sahara reporters also gathered that people were angered due to the hardship in the country occasioned by the removal of subsidy on the premium motor spirits, otherwise known as petrol. The subsidy removal moved up the prices of petrol from around 190 naira to about 620 per liter. You can understand. And this had Averately affected the prices of food, of goods and services. Subsequently, the administration of President Bola Tinubu promised to provide palliatives for Nigerians to cushion the effect of the removal of fuel subsidy. It later announced that five billion would be provided for each state and the federal capital territory and the food stops to be shared among Nigerians. It was not clear. If the warehouse looted in Yenegua housed uh, food items promised by Tinubu's administration, but Sahara reporters confirmed that it contained palliatives meant for victims of the 2022 flooding, which has been described as one of the worst floods in Nigerian history. However, the Bayasa State Agency Management Agency Okay, in a statement signed by its Director General, Walam Man Sam, condemning the action of the yet-to-be-identified persons that invaded the premises of a private warehouse. 
asserting that the items were unfit for human consumption, stressing that a responsible and caring government will not give by buy the Bayasan such items as palliatives. The Bayasan State Emergency Management Agency notes with surprise and concern the unwarranted invention of the premise of a privately owned warehouse in the Ikbasa area of Yenegwa, the state's capital. The incident occurred about 7.45 p.m. on Sunday, August 27th, almost an hour after the Director General, Walama San, alongside some the Bayasa State Emergency Management Agency, okay, personnel left the warehouse premises. During the 2022 flood in the state, the agency used the warehouse to store food items as part of preparations for the impending flood this year. The DG visited the premises and in his presence, the remnants of food items, notably rice and gari, that were no longer fit for consumption, were cleared from the warehouse and placed aside for disposal the next day. The remnants, which were wet, swept from the flood and packed in 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 in, in dust used bags, dustbin bags, were less than ten bags of rice and gari, and with some broken uh, cans of oil. For emphasis, the the agency that says, states that these agent these uh, items were not fresh food palliative so and were not hauled by the agency or the state government. Importantly, these items are unfit for human consumption, and a responsible, caring government like us will not give buyers and such items as palliatives. In essence, they were really no food items to loot. So those who cattered away the unfit items are please advised in their own interest not to consume them. The agency equally condemns the action of the yet-to-be-identified persons that invaded the premises of a private warehouse on Sunday. It also condemns the attempt to uh, politicize the incident by opposition elements in the state who seek to score cheap political points from the ugly occurrence. The agency assures people of the state of its preparedness to handle the distribution of palliatives provided by the federal government as part of cushioning the effect of its fair subsidy removal policy as well as the fallout of an impending flooding this year, the statement added. You see, I don't even know what they will use to justify all these things. These are just super story. What level of wickedness to abandon it, to aspire, instead of giving it out to the people? You allow the food to aspire. How can you tell us 10 bags of rice? How many people invaded that place? They keep on lying to themselves. You see, God will watch all these people. You understand? You store this food, you cannot give them out. The people that, that are supposed to take the food, the food was not given to them, and the food got expired. Now you are telling them, telling them as a good government, Abby, not to consume those foods. You are not trying to protect them, and you protected them not to have those food. What kind of wickedness do we have? Our leaders are so wicked. The same thing they did during uh, COVID-19. To the extent that uh, uh, politicians are keeping all these palliatives for their own for their own benefits, they won't use and go do campaign. May God have mercy. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.